Risks of severe weather, very heavy rainfall, areas of deep snow as well, especially the Cascades, and a threat to livestock producers across the northern plains. That's what we're covering in today's Daily Shower. So here's today's headlines that need to grab your attention, that you need to be aware of. We're primarily focusing on Tuesday the 7th, Wednesday the 8th, and Thursday the 9th. But I'm going to talk about some very cold temperatures coming in next week as well, and the threat areas especially for livestock producers. Let's start off with severe thunderstorm risk. This is gonna be for Wednesday across the south from New Orleans to Jackson up to Memphis. Highest risk there for damaging thunderstorms. Of course, all criteria and tornadoes, hail, wind, all possible with those storms. Looking at just the precipitation through Thursday, the, the next three days, heavy precip all across the Mississippi Valley here, flying that map in from the Dallas DFW area up to Poplar Bluff within that zone, which covers Conway, close to Little Rock, close to Fort Smith. That's going to be around three inches of total rainfall on the way, so quite a little bit there. There was also a bullseye over the Pacific Northwest. That's primarily a mix of rain and snow and heavy snow for the Cascades. So let's focus on what's happening winter weather-wise. We'll have some winter weather impact into New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, throughout the Pacific Northwest, but most of it's going to be in Wisconsin. Any traveler between Minneapolis and Milwaukee to the Sioux and the UP there, and also some icing possible from Syracuse to Augusta. So we do have some winter weather areas that may slow folks down during the next three days. It boiled this down into snowfall totals. We've got a bullseye here in the northwest, another in the upper midwest, and another to New England. So let's start off just by kind of flying the map in, and we're going to do so for the Cascade. So here's Seattle, Everett, and Bellingham. Quiet there but in terms of snowfall. But into the Cascades, we're going to be pushing 21 to 24 inches there in parts of the Cascades. And then lower totals as you get down into Oregon, but valuable for a snowpack perspective. You get into the northern Rockies, so here we have Missoula, and there's Wallace. And surrounding those regions, we have anywhere from 6 to 8 to 10 inches possible coming to those Rockies as we go through the next three days. There's a little bullseye here on the state line between Wyoming and South Dakota, so we're talking west of Rapid City. That little bullseye is going to be a couple to a few inches. Across the Dakotas, across Nebraska, into the upper Midwest, we do have some snow on the way, but it's not necessarily going to be very heavy. Of course, a lot of snowpack already on the ground there. As you look at Iowa, in Minnesota and stretch that out into Wisconsin and uh, Michigan, we have areas, say, from Waterloo and Mason City, then stretching out over Toma, uh, Oshkosh to Green Bay, Iron Mountain, Marquette, there's the Sault Ste. Marie, Traverse City, and Petowski. We do have these totals kind of looking at kind of a Kind of a two to six inch range in most cases. Uh, certainly going to cause some slick road conditions there considering cool to moderate temperatures. Let's get into next week. I think the impacts over the next few days are relatively low compared to what may be moving through late next week. In terms of total water, we're still looking at bullseyes over the northwest and also down to the south. Still very heavy rainfall to continue from a series of storms kind of in that same area from Texas on up into Illinois. Great for water. Uh, resources there along the Mississippi from the central to southern Mississippi River. But let's focus on uh, not just the impactful rainfall areas that I highlighted for next week, but impactful snow. This is next week, the 16th and 17th, in and around the upper Midwest. Deep impact bearing snowfall is possible. Same from Cheyenne through Denver down to Santa Fe, the front range of the Rockies. There is potential, although it's slight right now, but is potential for some deeper snow there. And that's going to be the 14th through the 16th. It's the cold, though, that comes through. It's going to drive in some rain. It's going to drive in that snow. But it's the cold covering these areas that may be rather impactful. This is Thursday the 16th through Saturday the 18th. And areas pretty much from, from my arm and southward will be in the teens and potentially some single digits. But from my arm again and northward, so we're talking about around Bismarck Pier, Minneapolis, and all of the upper Midwest and northern plains has the potential to drop down below zero and significantly so some of those mornings later next week. From a livestock perspective, we have calving and, and, and things going on, so we've got to be very, very careful about wet weather and then a sharp drop in temperatures, and that will be possible again late next week, the 16th through the 18th. If you like the format of this video, go ahead and hit subscribe for me. I greatly appreciate it. Leave your feedback as well. I take that into consideration for all future videos. That's today's Daily Shower. The point is to grab your attention to the headlines so you can make preparations no matter what you're doing, traveling, working, etc. I'm just here to give you the heads up. Matt Makins, we'll see you the next time.